to Marlene's Music Class. I'm Marlene, this is my daughter Ava. Hi. Today we're going to be looking at how sound is made. So we'll look at sound waves, vibrations, and we're going to build something called a glass harp, which we're going to play together at the very end using all the things that we've learned. So Ava, from the very top, because I know you love science and physics, this is your department. Yeah. How is sound made? Sound is made when objects vibrate. Okay. Yeah, so when we're talking, that's our vocal cords vibrating, and that's what's emitting the sound waves. So when we, when, we, when we hear the word sound waves, it doesn't mean this, this kind of wave, or the waves that crash on the ocean. They're invisible waves that travel through the air. So right now, they're travelling out to my mouth, all the way along to Ava's ear, and she can hear me unless I say, tidy your bedroom, and then she hears nothing. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> okay, so what I want you to do is, I'm going to name something, and you're going to draw how we understand the sound waves to look. Okay. So I'm going to draw something big. And loud is the whale. So when we're drawing a diagram of sound waves, the width over here is for how loud the sound is, and the height is for how high or low it is. So a whale is really loud and low, oh. so it's like this. Okay, and loud and a whale. What about if you're something squeaky and high? What if you're this guy? So this has to be a lot more high pitched, like this. Ah, that's pretty cool. Okay, what about the sound waves for something like this, which we all know and love, the recorder? So think about it, what would you, what would this guy sound like? Yeah, I think that's probably quite accurate. Thank you very much. What about something more mellow, like the cello? He's big, isn't he? Yeah. So these guys are pretty similar. Yes. Right, got it. Now what's interesting as well is because you eat, we talked about vibrations and that's where you get the sound. If I was just going to get a bow like this and play on a wire, you wouldn't really hear anything. But because the cello is made of wood, it's got this great shape, and you've got these two F holes here, which is where the sound comes out of, the vibrations can resonate really beautifully, and then they can be amplified, which means louder. So instead of me just playing on a wire with a bow, because of the wood, you can hear it. A wider audience can hear it. Uh, what are other mediums that are good for sound? Or so you can hear? the other mediums are water and air. Water and air, so you need air to be able to hear sound, which then makes me think, oh, what happens if you're in space? Well, space is a vacuum, which means there's no air at all, so you wouldn't be able to hear anything. So you wouldn't hear this? Nothing. What about if I was screaming? You wouldn't be able to hear anything. Not in space? No. Okay, very good. So come over to the table, Ava. And I talked about us making something called a glass harp. So first, I want you to get your glass. Make sure it's got a stem, this is very, very important. Also, it's very important that you check that you're allowed to use these glasses because they could be like your mum's special anniversary glasses. And also because it is glass, be very careful. Uh, in fact, you can get your mum to come and help you or whoever's looking after you and you can do a duet together like we are going to do. So firstly, take your glass, put it onto something firm. I've got it on the table here. Add a tiny bit of water and then I want you to wet your finger really, really well. See, it's dripping down. And not using the soft part of your finger, the fingertip, where your fingerprints are, I want you to use where the bendy bit is, where you can see that little line, where it's quite hard. Use that part to press on the rim and go around in a circle. Oh, can you see that? You see the vibrations there? It's shaking already. There you go. So the vibrations are helping to create this sound. Pretty cool. Okay, so what do you think would happen if I added more water to the glass? If we get lower. Go on then, let's have a go. Pour away. There we go. So let's try that now. Oh, much lower. Okay, and I can see if you look in the glass over, and when you're doing this at home, if you look in your glass, what can you see? You can see all the vibrations. Like all the little ripples. Yeah. So it really is working. All right, let's go for it. Pour all the water in. See how low we can get this to sound. That is pretty low. 
the vibrations are going mad in the glass as well. They're going wild. Okay, and let's just see what happens when we pour all of that water out. Wet my finger and nice and high once again. So, this might take a little bit of help. What I want you to do is get a few of these glasses and you can put different amounts of water in each of these glasses, this is what um, Ava and I have done. And you are then going to have created something called a glass harp. It's quite a nice name, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so Ava and I, we're going to play you a song and you're going to guess what it is. So, are you ready? Yes. Was Mary had a little lamb, you are 100% correct. A little bit slower, but it is glass, you have to be a little bit careful. So there you go, today we looked at sound waves, we looked at vibrations, and we looked at how to create something called a glass harp using both sound waves and vibrations. Uh, if you enjoyed today's class, make sure you hit like, and also subscribe, it's completely for free. Thank you for joining us for today's My Name's Music class. Bye.